Thank you, Mayor, and uh, welcome to everyone in the gallery uh, staff, uh, CEO staff, and especially I'd like to pay tribute to Oliver and his team for the work that they've done towards uh, presenting, helping help us present this budget today. We live in a a very diverse and increasingly diverse community whose expectations are increasingly, uh, without being critical of people, increasingly selfish. Uh, they, they want more all the time, and it's just human nature, I suppose, but we, and we have to try to provide that, and I concur with Councillor Chalk on uh, how we're getting less and less from each level of government, and uh, it's a number of years ago that I suggested that uh, with COVID that we would n not be seeing a lot of grants, and we, uh, and this has come to fruition or non-fruition, I suppose, and we've we need that to do our major projects like the Canungras and the Calbars and whatever, and communities yeah, we do not have the capital to to put into those big projects. And for them to move forward, we need grants uh, with us. Our 7.9% increase is larger than I think all of us would have liked. It's, uh, but inflation, what it is, and the costs going up have uh, dealt that position to us. Uh, it is great to have a balanced budget, and uh, we've skimmed through the last few years, and uh, in hindsight, should have we moved those percentages up. Uh, some councillors would suggest we probably should have gone a little higher in those years, but this is what we're faced with now and we've, we've pushed back some projects like staff surveys that probably should have been done three or four years ago and uh, I'm glad we're in the process of do starting that now and uh, know where we're heading moving forward. It's great to see the uh, that Canunga and Calbar are moved uh, move forward and the consultation with the community is there. Our real problem is that we don't hear a lot from a big percentage of the community and are they representative, uh, a, a fair representation of the community, the people we hear from? I would like to hear from more people uh, within reason of course. It's, um, I think it's, uh, we've initiated a number of good projects here with uh, biosecurity officer, and uh, a lot of residents moving here just don't understand the, the noxious weeds and everything else. And uh, I'd like to see us moving forward. And, and it, it, by putting someone on there, it will help these residents understand what it is there. Uh, in Calbar, with the, uh, the Moffat Street drainage, it's been pushed back for a couple of years now. And it's good to see that that is fi will finally happen in this year from a from my uh, division's point of view. This will be the last budget for this council and I thank everybody's input from councillors, mayor and staff for what they've done. And uh, uh, let's hope we continue to have a balanced budget and move this uh, uh, area forward. Uh, we've got a great area that we live in and let's hope it uh, keeps on being great.